Welcome everybody to Engadine Bowling Club. Starting the stream for our women's veteran singles final of the club championship for 2022-2023. Michael Liberton here bringing you all the images this morning. Uh, game hasn't begun just yet. Players uh, completing their second end of their warm-up ends. As you'll probably hear through the uh, through the stream and the microphone, touch of breeze around this morning. Not too cool, but uh, pretty much blowing from the south. Players playing east west, so current screen you're on there. Just a bit of a breeze from the left. So our players in the final today. Bowl coming down now, the uh, blue and teal colour of Chris Keep. And just stepping onto the mat now, Faye Ibbotson. So congratulations to both ladies on making this year's veteran singles final. Faye with a very similar teal green XG with a bit of a speck in it. So the real difference is going to be Chris's blue half of her duo. So I'll try to do my best to keep you informed of whose bowls are where. Let's see Chris's bowl coming down there. It is a touch wider on that side, so you'll see that throughout the game. Usually plays a touch wider on that side of the green, but with the breeze. coming down this side of the green players will probably play a tighter line speed is speed of the greens very nice this morning about to get into our first end. I'd like to thank our Women's Club President, Monica Dimmick. Always willing to volunteer to mark finals of club championships. Standard singles conditions of play, 25 up. Replay ends. Jack out of play. Chris Keat with the first bowl of this final. Not quite maximum, Matt's up at 
probably eight to ten feet. Pretty handy start here from Chris. Notice Chris using the uh, bowling arm. Working through some things physically, but she's taken to the uh, the bowling arm very, very well. It's exciting that uh, there is a tool that you can use in bowls to continue playing at a competitive level. So great to see Chris taking that up. Good start from Faye. In the area again here for Chris, just to touch off with the speed, but two bowls well in play. It's far from the worst start of a singles game. Happy Chris keep. Good speed again here from Faye. All the two looks to uh, to Chris. For those watching, that uh, is my mother, Faye Ibbotson. I'll do what I can to remain neutral. I did wish wish her luck. I'm just after a, a good. Good game here. Hopefully, we can get both players deep into the 20s. Good speed again from Chris, just out. So, still the two. Favourite two to play. Otherwise, known by all the way, Faye. Intent there with that bowl, just uh, running through. Does go in the ditch. So Chris, the fourth of the last end. No, oh, sorry, the first end. Another pretty handy effort there from Chris. A little touch on that front bowl. Might have stuck around for a third. Didn't, didn't mind the speed. Inch higher and she's uh, trailing the jack for probably still just the two, but a much safer two. Fay with a pretty good bowl here that's a fair effort trails it to the front of Chris's bowl so two possibly three down there it's now just the one down so very good start from both ladies here in this final Confirming it is the uh, Chris.
can see in the top right of your screen there, the Australian flag. That breeze blowing in a bit of a southerly direction. A little bit of a swirl around, but I'm sure the players will manage. rolling this jack mat in a pretty similar position but, uh, jack a good 10 to 12 feet short of the uh, two meter mark a pretty handy first bowl here from Faye yeah, it's a good start Chris's first end, no doubt she'll uh, she'll correct well here. Yeah. Short again, so opportunity for uh, fate. The same bowl easily clears that, that bowl there, about eight feet short. We hear some background noise. Still plenty of ladies here today for uh, social bowls. It's the one game on the other side of this green, but uh, down on green one, it's a full house. AGM just before walking out, so I was setting up. Don't have any any information for you, but hopefully all went well. Chris definitely adding speed here. A slight overcorrect, unless she gets a sit. She's got the sit and stuck around. Chris's bowl there, right of Jack, shot. Faye's bowl, she sat there, rolled through. It's about six foot back, so that's second shot. Both ladies one to play, Chris holding. This backhand, she looks to have corrected the weight pretty well here. Definitely should stay for two. And has. Still room for Faye to draw a shot, or at least second. Very tight line on that wider side. So just that's two to Chris. with two paddles, so two ends in, Chris keep leading 3-0. I know we do have some uh, technical issues which uh, seem to be ongoing, but we 
did look at a temporary solution, but have a uh, permanent fix on the way. It just takes a little bit of work. So not investing in a part-time solution, so we'll bear with us. Understand uh, losing vision and trying to watch the game does become a little bit testing, but by no means are we sitting on our hands. So looking to stream a lot more games here at Engadine. Goals to try and get every single club championship on the live stream of the finals. And uh, work towards whether it be live streaming or recordings of games that we can upload onto our Cougars YouTube page. Currently there are any streams that we've archived on the page. Here for the Panic Games, we've moved in some games that were recorded by Happy Bowler for Zone Games. Some difficulty is that uh, other providers or other organisations streaming on Facebook were unable to download those videos. So there's some fantastic productions of bowls with Engadine Cougars on there. And plenty of other clubs and players. But, uh, hopefully soon we can continue to build our catalogue of Cougars on camera. Yeah, that's a good shot here from Faye. Looks to have pulled up on the centre line for shot. So a bowl right of that is Chris's. With pretty good speed here. Should get down just enough and has. So that is a shot. Fay looks to be in a pretty decent line as well here. Just needs to run it out. It'll be close. Yeah, great shot. Great shot from Chris and the follow-up from Faye. Both players one one ball to play. Chris with really good speed here. Probably just enough to roll Faye through the bowl on the running surface for two, but a couple of bowls high. So not too much risk here for Faye. It's really only jack down the line that's any trouble. Played it pretty well. It's one in, one out, but in a really good area to try and make a second. A good end from both players. So Faye on the board. Play. 
umpiring for us today, world renowned umpire, Pam Hawkins. Another one of our fantastic volunteers, always willing to be involved. No mystery that. Volunteers are the core of making a uh, quality and successful club and club culture. So thank Monica and Pam for that. Right, fourth end to play, Faye with pretty good speed again. It's the tighter hand, but the wind has... Uh, Dropped a touch, so coming back a little bit down there. Yeah, speed's pretty good here from Chris too. Should get right down to it. Close enough, a couple inches off. Just short of jack eye, so Faye's still happy to stay on this backhand. Carrying a touch, but contact would be a great result. Well, just not the contact she was after. It's a pretty fair effort. Chris doesn't change this. You might see Faye turn it over. Chris, but three feet short, so I'd say they'll have to face uh, force Faye. Uh, she's confident on this back end, staying with it. A little more positive, staying a little high. So I'd say. It's still the one to Chris, the bowl just behind Jack right of screen is phase and that would, it looks to be second shot. Chris's bowl, short bowl, is third. This is close again from Chris. Yeah, fantastic speed. Didn't thicken up the target either. So Faye now last bowl, moving over to that forehand. Carrying similar speed. Not sure if it's getting down. It's going to be close. Oh, she sliced it. Positive shot gets the result. Jack's moved right to the front and sitting on that bowl that I mentioned before was second shot. Right of screen. It'll be tough for Chris to just get the bowl. She does, there's a fair chance of hitting two. Just with Draw weight, just a full draw, trying to squeeze Jack. Another good end. So, one to fight.
Jack Roll, mentioned our fantastic uh, major sponsor, Core Property Group. Cannot recommend them highly enough. Great people, great organisation. Several offices around the area. Paul, Georgie and the whole team out there. Well worth a chat if you're considering being in the market. So we have an office at Heathcote, one at Engadine, so very accessible for people in the area. A bit of a delay. They rolling Jack out of play. Good speed again from Faye with the first. Fairly similar length to the uh, four ends we've played already. Good one from Chris, just a touch short. You know, she's worked uh, extremely hard with the bowling arm to get herself in a position to play competitively. Without a doubt a competitor. Good area again here from Fate. Chris really nailing those lines. Players have played extremely well to progress to the finals. Yeah, it's a pretty good area here from Chris. Great line, corrected the speed. It's going to be very close for shot. tight from where I'm sitting and just a touch light as well so no change the phase bowl center line and the two right of screen this is two bowls left of center line playing her third GFA off the back end, doesn't look like it will. Just about a line to get under that Chris Keat bowl. A pretty good area that will just run through. Worst spot if she is holding shot. The worst spot if she, regardless, really. This defends that potential trail for Chris for that last bowl. Well, if she gets down and just 
trails an inch or so. Probably still could be two in the area. And those cuts there a little too much, so we'll check the measure here. Look like the jack high bowl on the right is in the mix. I could be wrong. Pretty sure I've been wrong on every single stream I've been on, so good to keep that record alive. as well first. And we'll be one to Chris. Both players keeping it very tight. One multiple so far. Uh, the timing of the season this uh, this championship final being played after our presentation evening held on Saturday night here at the club fantastic night for those that were here lots of great photos on our Facebook page so check them out Still a similar uh, length. I know Jack's a little further up, but so is the mat. And Chris finding it. It's a great start. It'll be interesting to see how we progress through this game. If both players are willing to just battle it out. Same length, see who plays it better, or if there'll be a point where somebody makes a change. Both have settled in pretty well. Just changing over to the forehand. Be a touch over, but not by much. Played it pretty well. Yep. Down to her own. So that'll be two. Plays first, probably about three feet short. Could be down to Jack. A little bit of a touch. Just rolling through. So still the two to Chris. Just two down, a better position. Eight. Just looking to repeat here, that one touch through, but falling short and cutting the head, but it doesn't look as if it's close enough. 
perception is a little different with the way the cameras are set up for depth. Similar area here for Vay, a better weight. And draw a shot, what a great shot. Let's plug that hole for Chris, so opportunity to play nice and confident full draw. Sit bowl or trail jack on his forehand. Definitely more confident weight than the last one and is very close. What a shot. And just gets it on a good angle, gets it over for two. That's a fair ball from Chris Keep. Pretty good speed here. What a great effort. What a fantastic end. That'll be one to Chris Keat, but this is a very good game of singles so far. Jack in similar spot again, just keep duking it out. Chris has had a touch more success, so I guess no reason to change. Yeah, solid start again from Chris. Just over a foot behind. Touch with this uh, breeze continues to stay away. Drop down after we started. Great shot here from Faye, front nose. Speaking of nose, the wind stays away, nothing worse than getting the sniffles. Wind blowing in your face while you're on a microphone. So, probably more for your sake than mine, that the wind stays away. Slight of that delay, Chris resorting to the uh, vest, a bit warmer. Pretty fair effort from Chris. 
She was intending to just be in the area to make a bit of contact. She's got one fairly close to second shot. So, could afford to play pretty positive. Play just under a touch here. Good speed again. But I'm just going to cut the head where it probably won't factor. Attacking line here from Chris. Not sure if she's got the speed for the line. Uh, so still one to Faye sitting on the jack. The two bowls behind Jack at Chris Keep. Faye playing her third now. Must have been a better line with this one. Just a bit of a piece of Jack. It looks to still have shot. Around that Jack high mark, so pretty confident that's still phase. Both players want to play. Good shot on here for Chris. Forehand. Yard through, jackal bolt. She's played the line really well. Don't worry about jackal bolt, just dead draw it. Don't listen to me. Here for Faye, just on the back end. Her bowl is the one closest to the center line. Just under that, she can get to the jack off her bowl. I'm looking forehand and be positive weight. The risk of getting her bowl out here. Chris tries to pop her through. Could be a three count. Another excellent end from both ladies, regardless of the uh, score here. Certainly risk on either hand. Could have played that backhand a touch heavy and push bowl onto Jack for three anyway. So if I saw a shot, put herself in a position to get a result. Just, just short of dead drawing on the jack. It's hard to see how far back those other bowls are. It could be looks to be at least one to Chris. initially I wasn't wrong last time I think I've got this wrong this one wrong by a long way so it's a 
shot was played, I straight away I thought three to Chris. But call for PM to come out and have a look. And yeah, measuring just for the one shot. PM using the laser measure. Have you used it? I do think it's a, an excellent tool. I know everyone's got their preferences, which is fine. But, uh, one paddle, chop the bowls, one paddle at the front of each bowl. It's in the count, or potential count. Line laser up with jack hit button. Pretty sure they go to about three decimals. Move over to other bowl, hit button. Measure does the math. Let us know who got shot. One to Chris. That's how easy that is. Well done, Pam. Well done, Chris. Score 6 2. Certainly feels tighter than that. The way these heads are building. Uh, 25 up. There's plenty of room. Let's see if Chris goes on with it or if Faye can take it back a touch. before our YouTube page, the Cougars YouTube page. For those who can't stick around or watch the entire entire game, entire stream, the uh, recording does film the entire game if there's any issues on our stream. So you can watch the entire game once we upload that to our YouTube page. There from Faye, probably four feet past. A bit of a change of length. It is a touch longer. Matt's been where pretty much where it normally is. Chris has rolled the jack a touch longer. Singles, you always want to get that first bowl past Jack. Speed. See if Faye sticks on this back end. I know she certainly seems to favour it. Right, turning over to the uh, wider forehand. Much more open, but he's carrying a touch. We'll need to smash Jack. Saved there by the uh, the short bowl. Still looks to be, seems to be just the one I think. Short bowl and phase last bowl, pretty similar. Distance from the jack. Not sure why I've got a blurry shot. There's a better effort here from Chris. Down to Jack. That looks to be pretty unlucky. Put in a really good area. I'm not sure who's holding. This 
Yeah, it's hard to make a call on that one. And one good call, one bad call so far. Okay, just positive there. Probably. Not sure if she was just playing aggressive for a trail. Tough line to get down there on the uh, tighter hand. Monica indicating it's one down. But, oh, uh, close but favours Faye. So, Faye's the bowl, one bowl behind left of Jack. Chris in line with Jack just short. Yeah, Chris looking forehand down here. Get to Faye's bowl. Pretty good area. What an effort. Are you just coming down to have a look? I won't talk too loudly as she walks past me. I do feel like the shot has to be forehand. look like just a forehand draw. If you are confident you've got one, draw down, get to the front of yours. Really no danger in getting Jack for just one anyway. She does love the backhand. So. Looks to be on a very safe line. Maybe just thought about taking the one. Get the scoreboard going again. Uh, based on what Monica said, she's a pretty good judge. Might need a measure here. Is conceding the one. Kuda Valley meets another one of our fantastic sponsors, Bottom Arcade. Access it through the car park. No, the bottom car park of Coles. They're providing us with all their meat trays for our raffles. You won't hear any complaints from our members about the, uh, the meat provided for those raffles. So, go see the team at Cooter Valley. time of year for a quality roast, something warm. Sure, that'll sort you out. First start here from Faye. in still extremely tight. We'll only be able to keep track of ends until somebody gets another multiple. We've only had one. Chris had one early on. Everything else after that's singles because of this. If I draw a shot then Chris draws a shot.
pretty high line there, but still coming back well on that hand. Even with the breeze out. That bowl definitely in the game. Missing with that one. And in effect, Faye still willing to play that backhand. The weight on the last was pretty good for this shot. Full draw to the shot bowl or the jack. Only a better line. Very close. Looks to be shot. Very close. So Monica indicating she believes it's a phase ball rider jack holding shot. It's on the running surface, so Chris lining up on this backhand. And just get to the edge of that shot bowl. A little trail, tuck it away. Put this in a really good area. Speed's pretty decent. Oh, what a shot. That's a fantastic shot from Chris. that jack's rolled through a bit too far. It is two. So if they can play up here reasonably confidently, can use her bolt. I think she should be really charging through. Doesn't look it. Certainly confident speed. Yeah, it was good speed for the shot. Missed the line. Uh, Chris looking to have her second multiple of the game. Maybe two or three. Just a safe draw shot up here on the forehand. And speed's really good. Just under. So it will be two to Chris. Fantastic shot trailing Jack. Extends her lead. Call me biased if you like, but I'm not sure if Faye deserves to be down five shots here. Certainly not going to say that Chris isn't playing well, but uh, those players really are playing some shots. Chris playing a couple of conversions that have really made the difference. Just working with the old egg shake jack. Mm -hmm. Something for Chris to just keep 
I'm working on her. She improves more and more with the stick. But, uh, sure, she'd know she'd want to be up past Jack with that first bowl, especially after getting two on the last end. Fake is carrying a touch. Similar story to the last end in this direction. Chris Shaw, Fay through. Credit to both of them. That's probably the two worst bowls of the game. No doubt they'll get their next close up. It's a fair effort. Great correction here from Chris. Right down to it. A touch of jack movement, phase weight on the last now is uh, not too bad. Just needs to correct that line. Looks like she has, I'm just not sure if she's got the speed. Definitely second shot. up a little with this one. Been holding a one shot, a bit of a scattered head, so not too much to sit on for Faye. The heads have been really uh, pretty tight, so chances to play confident draw shots in good areas and see if we can get a result. Pressure on. Add one here. Pressure with uh, phase last. Yeah, the weight looks better on this one. Very close to second. Yeah, definitely in there. Shot from Chris. Yeah, well under there with the line. It's going to roll that ball any closer to cut it down. It's two from here. By conceding the two. So Chris moving on to double digits. Going back to that uh, length we played towards the start of the game, right in a similar position, and just 
contact just a touch shorter. Chris, making sure that one was uh, up past Jack with the first. And a pretty good line here. Speed looks pretty handy too. Oh, sorry about the interruption. Faye with a cracking first bowl and Chris coming down with her second again. Just uh, shot for shot. I just had a brief moment. Pam Hawking's coming over and mentioned the laser measure that we had about three ends ago. Well, it might have been, it was three ends ago, two ends ago. Losing track. Anyway. It, uh, the laser measure does go to four decimals. We watch this shot here from Faye. A really good area. Still going to be the one to Chris, but two good balls in the head. So Pam Teller showing me the uh, the measure went to Chris, I believe, from memory, but uh, 0 0.0007. Was the difference. So that just tells you as we watch another good bowl here from Chris. She doesn't mind this length today. Yeah, so think about that sort of margin using a tape or a physical object. Again, I'm not going to sway anyone to use laser if you're comfortable with other tools but uh, certainly has some merit when that's the margin in a measure in a final you really want it to be spot on so, both players want to play here Thinking, clear hers, sit shot bowls, pump hers up into shot bowls or jack. And there's a shot forehand. Chris's bowl coming down now is going to count. It is going to be the shot. They really needs contact on that last bowl. So Chris's bowl, you can see the duo right of screen is the furthest bowl back on the rink. Phase of the two left of screen. And then opting to play weight, just missing line. So can't see that being anything other than three to Chris. end of bowls. Monica 
in the three paddles. So Chris extending her lead to 10 shots. One of their fantastic sponsors, Endeavour Conveyancing. The whole real estate world cornered here. So once you talk to Core, you can uh, get all your legal documentation sorted out with Endeavour Conveyancing. I can definitely say from personal experience, they're uh, very, very easy to deal with. All right, so back to it. Another variation of length here we are. Matt probably six, seven feet up. And Jack right to the six foot mark. Fair start with the speed here for Chris. She's really starting to lock in her draw game. That's a great start. Faye with her first in a really good area too. Probably won't draw a shot but that's a really competitive bowl. <laughs> Just giving Mel Bloomer some stick for walking in front of the camera. Just had to get in shot. That's great, there's good support here. Plenty of people interested in all of our championships. Tinted windows on the club, but uh, no doubt there's plenty of full seats in there, I'd imagine. It's a positive shot there from Chris, I like that. Ball sitting there. Head still pretty open, even though there's close bowls. So having one holding shot and then one a few feet behind is really gives her the ability to play confidently with her last two. Just asking uh, position and depth of phase bowls. We get line and speed again here from Chris. Jack high weight. Geez, that's getting down that bolt. I didn't think it was that tight when she let it go. So, an opportunity on this backhand to sit the shot bolt. Tuck Jack for three. She's close. Great shot. What a shot. Makes three out of that. It does, uh, as much as it's a tough shot, not a huge margin. Trailer jack here for Chris is three. Didn't let that one go cleanly. Still be in the area. I should be disappointed that one didn't come out of the uh, out of the bowler's arm all that clean. So 
Clay currently holding three. Position in the game. I'm sure she doesn't uh, want to risk moving Jack. She want to get this fourth shot, but... Uh, Yeah, it looks like a pretty safe line. It's out on rink 10. So, quality bowls again from both ladies. Play with her first multiple. Reduces the margin. Losing the jack there. She gets one more chance before I start to tease her about a jack rolling. Stream or not, I'm allowed to. So Chris rolling the jack. Very close to identical length to our last ten. Just a different direction, obviously. First there, pull the weight to where she rolled her jack. Morning, Gail. Glad to see you on the stream. Hope you're enjoying it. Hope you're doing well. Looking forward to seeing you back here soon. Mason Lewis, get back to work. here from Faye. It's going to be very close for shot. I'd like to welcome uh, Bella to the stream. Oh, she's had enough. Matt Keo, our uh, head green keeper. Anyone that's been to Engadine, I'm sure, has met Bell. Beautiful dog.
very, very infrequently sets foot on the green. I know that, which is amazing. To the bowls. So, the two bowls were right at a screen that were close, and now both ladies with their last two. Probably favour Faze there, just past Jack Ryder screen. Chris has been playing this forehand really well. She's just missed on that one. Both have one to play. Just give an indication here. So yes it is. That bowl rider screen. Is Faze the one down the line? Is Chris's that second shot? A ton of risk here for Faye. She hasn't played this too badly at all. Just depends on the speed. Just going to trickle through. Should be third shot though. A little bit more defence. If there is a trail here from Chris, I wouldn't put it past her. Doesn't look like it's out similar to the last one though. So, if they string a couple of ends together, brings the margin back to Six shots. I'll back Monica's eye. Possibly need to uh, get the measure out. Fight. So, <laughs> this lady's preferring this uh, mat position. Decent speed there from Faye. So we can tighten this shot up for you. Just short of Jack Height. This looks like a pretty good shot here from Chris. Might be a touch over. Very good line. Down to the jack. Great shot. Great first bolt. No jack. She still would have only been probably a foot past. Speed here from Faye, and this clears her own.
Looks very similar speed again from Chris. Little touch should be it's pretty close for second. It does give Fay a little, little shelf to come down there. Better line. Speed to this is close. Yeah, what a great bowl. I suggest Chris is probably lining up backhand. Follow Faye down, she's got her own to roll up. Six shot bowl, trail jack, a few shots there. Not sure if she's happy with that line though. Just carrying a few yards. Forward of the opportunity to play positive with her last. She's still holding second shot. See what Faye does here with her last. Not sure if this is going to get down at all. Just that tighter hand holding on. Great speed. It really is an opportunity here for Chris to. Not rip through, she doesn't want to lose her second bowl out of there because Faye, I'd say, would probably have th third and fourth. Yeah. yeah, I don't mind the speed again here from Chris. That's the line again, so. Faye with another single. It's a few ends in a row now. And that a bit further up. It's, uh, the most part we've kind of played a bit of a middle middle. Sometimes a little long, and now we've got the mat up for the first time. Not sure if this has got the distance. Just, just adjusting the mat for the back about three or four yards. Jack heading for the tee. And Jack goes in, so if they can move the mat here, get the length she did want to play. Very good line. Not the desired yardage, so opportunity after dropping a few ends in a row for Chris to jump on.
Just trying not to talk too loudly while players are on the map. You can probably see in your screen there, they're pretty much right in front of me. That's a very good shot from Chris. Faye there just missing. All positive with the weight, so at least something to work with. It's been pretty good again from Chris here. That, uh, that tighter hand. Should get in there for a second. Yeah, looks to have done that. Very aggressive up the line. Not too bad of an effort. speed again from Chris into the front of hers doesn't roll it out so probably three <laughs> Faye attacking again under the line opportunity here for Chris Three down here. Well, it looks pretty good again. Yeah, should get in there. That is definitely three. I would suggest probably four. So Chris capitalising. Faye playing a couple of aggressive shots. Chris drawing well. Applying pressure with that uh, first bolt on the jack, or close enough. Will be four. Faye pegged her way back into this game. And one end. Chris Keep does some damage. Margin back out to nine, but now, more importantly, eight shots away from winning the final.
Another handy start here from Chris. Drawing very, very well. The first bowl with a lot of pressure. Little touch. See the flag up there, top right. Starting to get a uh, touch of breeze now. In my back, so wind conditions changing slightly. Playing a good line, just carrying some speed. Not wanting to be short, especially in this situation. Down a few. Line again from Chris, just a bit delicate. Not in the way for Shay to stay on his back end. Should just clear that bowl. Speed's pretty good. This is going to be very close. Uh, that's a fantastic shot. Falls over, it could push it to Chris, so keep an eye on that bowl. Switching over to the forehand now. I'll have to wait for that bowl to fall over. It's a positive way, I don't mind that weight from Chris. It's got a bit of a margin to Keep playing confidently. A good area again here from Faye. Great speed. Tight line again from Chris, but just I'm not sure if she wants to play too much heavier than that. Jack down the line are all phase bowls. Similar again here from Faye. Just a touch over. Over. One to Faye there. that right back now instead of up so I think the strategy is uh, try that short length with Matt back or is it a little bit more on it so it stays on the green we're playing full length yeah, it's carrying some speed though and it goes
you'll hate me for saying it, but at least that one was in between the pegs fate. Chris brought the mat up a really good three or four yards. Oh, somebody dropped a five over on rink 13. Just to be good speed here from Faye. Should get right down into a pretty handy area. staying on this uh, forehand. Yeah, it might be shot, but it's in a very good position for a first bowl. Fight. So Chris has bowled down the centre line, it's probably second shot. Faye just passed Jack High, still holding. You have room for Chris to stay on this forehand. Speed was perfect. Now he's just looking to correct the line here. Looks to have done it pretty well. Uh, yeah, that is Chris's bowl over there. Uh, Chris rewarded for having good weight. Something around the head. So this is Chris's third bowl. Yeah, we'd have a few ends where we struggle to figure out who's who. Handy line here, see where the speed ends up. Just passed, it's a fair effort. That's in a pretty good position, too. Holding one to so Jack's. Chris's bowl left of Jack is shot. Faye's right of Jack, just behind. Chris's other two are the two deepest on the rink, and far right of Faye's two. Pick a line here on the wide hand, back off the line. Not in a bad area. And gets the jack thick. Nice and positive. Yeah, 
and worth giving it a chance. That speed probably wasn't going to roll her bowl out, or if she did, hers would have stayed per second anyway. Chris on the backhand, trying to thread the needle. Certainly got the speed. It's not a bad effort. Sorry, can't get you a better shot of that, but Jack was about a foot behind Faye's bowl there. Let's see, just in the shot. I believe it's one to Faye. Let's see what the strategy is here. Full length. <laughs> a pretty fair start here from Faye. Over a foot past. I'm not sure if Chris has the speed with this one. has been correcting very well. Every now and then she gets one out of her uh, bowler's arm. So it doesn't look like she gets it out as clean as she'd like. Plenty of people at the club are... Uh, taking on the bowler's arm. Fantastic solution for... Uh, trying to stay in the game. A good ball here from Faye. I've no doubt at some point in my career I'll be using a bowler's arm. Knees and hips are already feeling broken. If there's a way to stay in the game, absolutely I'll take it. Better out here from Chris. Runs on a touch, so it's still two to fight. Got this tight. Backhand line down pretty well. It's going to be close to Jack. Gets it right. Wanted it down the line. He made a three. Jack didn't go in. It's probably three inches off the ditch. Just to the right. If you can see the, uh, the little number. Let's see if I can use my main tablet here to get you a decent shot.
pretty good effort here from Chris. She's played it pretty well, close to second. All right, nobody bumped the table. See the head there. Plays ball not getting the distance. I'd say it's probably two to Faye. Two balls closest to the centre line. Speed here from Chris is pretty good. It's going to get down to the shot bowl. Still rolling and just sinks. Jeez, that was a great effort. So definitely one to fate. See all four bowls in line, so it's Faye, Faye, Chris, Faye. No Monica's in that shot there, but... Looks like it is going to be two. No need for a measure. This Jack might be in trouble too. Okay, sponsor. Shire hearing. The, uh, the top arcade at Engadine. Rachel up there doesn't have a huge team, but very, very passionate about helping people. Big reason why. We've partnered with Shy Hearing. All of our partners are uh, businesses and people that uh, are part of this area. Good people and want to help. Rachel up there, very keen on making sure people know what's available. So free hearing tests, I believe. Currently, uh, there's an offer for trialling some equipment. I don't want to speak out of turn, but um, yeah, without a doubt, it's worth you know, people go and get their eyes tested. We consider your, we consider your options. No harm in going to see Rachel. Good speed with the first there from Faye. Just missing the line. Add her too. So Titans back up again. Chris, Chris jumping out. Faye pegging it back. Chris jumping out again and Faye bringing it back to five again. Good speed again, Chris. Getting her length. Got the line here from Faye, just not going to have the, uh, the distance. So it should still be. Under Chris, but plenty of room. She can stay on his forehand. Oh. 
pretty handy area. Yeah, that's a good correction from Chris. Definitely got a speed here from Faye. Get down. That's a pretty fair ball. Threads the needle. Drops in for shot. Not much to change here for Chris. Getting to the front of hers might not get her shot, but up in the area, trail jack, get to phase ball. Last time I said that, she just dead drew it. Pretty close again. <laughs> Thought we lost the camera there for a second. So Chris is last, if you missed it. The one just right of center line. Played it pretty well, but it does still look like Faye's got shot. I don't think she's got the same speed as the last with this one. Alright, opportunity here for Chris. Play up positive, trail down the line. Getting down to fate, turn her out. It's got second, third and fourth, so no danger in being up here. Is she going to pull up? Jeez, it's close. Does look like it's still one to fate. That ball, ball is falling. Don't know if that's going to do enough if it does. One to fight. Margin back to four. So just hit the two hour mark. Twenty five. So far, I suggest it's the game everyone was hoping to, uh, to see. Very competitive from both ladies. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh. I'm just deciding to tuck away. With a hazy old cloud up there, so I'm somewhere between sleeves and no sleeves this morning, but now it's definitely time to pull the sleeves back down. Pretty 
Andy Andy start with speed there from fate. Happy to uh, stand corrected, but uh, yeah, Faye's found the line this direction on the tighter hand really well. And Chris playing her forehand this side of the green in the other direction. But we're not talking about huge margins, both ladies playing very well. Yeah, good correction. Same speed. Two balls tied up. Still room for Chris. He's got to run a touch. So, two to fade, both the jack high bowls. And this one, similar with speed, just to correct it again, down to the jack. Through. That's a pretty handy spot there, cover and count. Faye's happy with the three, but definitely room for Chris the way she's been drawing. This doesn't look too bad. Right in the area. One more roll. That will be shot. Just put a full, full bowl, bowl on a bit in front. So no harm for Faye to be up here. Right down the line, the deepest bowl is Chris's. Already one down. So no real damage if you trail Jack. This is a pretty handy effort. That's a fantastic shot. Fine margins, touch more, and she's probably a three. Chris pretty well down here. Traveling a touch. Back and forth battle continues. We'll be one to fight. He's just finishing up their social game on green one. So let me come over to the uh, side of the rink behind me here, join the finish of this game.
into uh, more equipment too, so we can get you the, uh, the side angles of players on the map. Get you better coverage of our games here at Engadine. Things first there, about five feet through. back on this forehand. One of the shorter ends we've played. Chris down really well here. About two feet through. Centre line, pretty good. Light correction from Faye, great line again. Still one to Chris. Pretty similar to a pretty similar to a last here. Yeah, that's a good shot from Chris. Correction. Eight to ten inches behind Jack. Faye is trying to correct the speed here. The speed does look pretty good. It's not quite getting down enough on that high side, on that wide side. Probably good enough for second. Good shot from uh, from Faye. We've seen those trends in this game. Both players going on good runs. Important to defend there, not have heap of pressure on your last ball. Great speed from Chris. Just changing over to that back end. There's too much harm in her playing that, staying on that forehand. She's been playing it really well. A huge correction if she uh, is going to stay on the backhand, but in the area here from Faye, not quite going to do enough for shot, but uh, covers a few different areas. So Chris holding one here, playing backhand, drawing for a second. Line and speed here. Could be close. Yeah, that's a pretty fair shot from Chris. Good too. Gets off that 17. Uh, margin back out to five.
just to roll the jack. Just give a mention to personal farewells, funeral services, another one of our, our sponsors. Stephanie, a great supporter of the club and her business there. Obviously, it's not the, uh, the most pleasant thing if you do need to give Stephanie a call, but uh, they certainly make every single effort uh, to make that experience as respectful as, uh, as possible. So it's great to have Stephanie and her organisation on board with us here. To it, Chris down this backhand. About three feet short, I don't think that's going to stop Flay from backing herself on this side of the green. It looks good right down to it. That's a perfect start. <laughs> we'll see if Chris stays on this backhand. So if he's lining up that way, definitely looks like the shot. Let's clear her own. Even something passed just gives us something to work with on the back end. Definitely out better than the last. Stays on. It's going to help. Right to the back of the rink. Right to the back of the rink. And this just stays up. Pretty much finished right on the centre line in front of our number you can see at the bottom of your screen. Moves, we'll give Chris some margin to play a shot. If I just try to clear this short one, and that was very close to touching the jack, ending in a really good position. Obviously, multiples are great, but uh, where she's sitting. With one and a measure, the one she does have is uh, pretty fair. That one didn't come out all that clean from Chris. So, chance of fate to add, shouldn't be in her road. It's pretty tight, as we've mentioned. Some bowls just. Uh, through there. Well, I'd right look here for Monica to figure if it's two or not. Those favour just the one. Speed's pretty good again from Faye here. Clears the short bowl. Shouldn't touch the jack. Very, very good shot. Chris can change over here to forehand. Don't think she'll get back off that uh, bowl left of centre line. Can help her get second shot. Back from that hand, but I don't think they're coming back that much. <coughs> it's 
Speed's excellent. She just threw it out a touch too high. Faye backing herself. She played this backhand very well. Doesn't want any heavy contact on her shot pole. Speed to do that. This is a pretty handy bowl here. If it hangs around, it's going to be close for a third. Another great end, regardless, from both players. And Chris missed a couple, but uh, did what she could with that. Uh, Last bolt to cut down. Maybe that's Chris's worst end, so give her some, some credit. She's played some very, very good bowls. Measure for a third. Finals we all want to see. Right up to the death. And we should with length, Matt's only up uh, really a yard. screen. Probably jack high. There it is. Just to hit it out there on that wide hand. Wind's still swirling. We're not uh, blowing right to left on your screen anymore. Feels like it's blowing in circles. Chris on the forehand will be shot. Short of Jack, play backing herself to play under that. The line's definitely under it. Pretty fair speed, too. This is a very good correction. And Crystal on the forehand. of the shot pole, it's not, it's in play behind Jack, it's a touch further than she wanted that. Next 
tighter than the last and then shorter as well. No, it's not quite going to clutter it up. Still looks like the way Chris has played the forehand, no, she's changed into backhand. So it is one to Faye. Bowl right of screen just short of Jack is Chris's. That's second. Pretty clean again. Yeah. Need some contact. Alright, so Faye just back herself on the draw here. Chris wants to go bear jack for three. You really want this one in there. So there's two. she misses. That one just not quite sneaking around, could have covered and counted a little bit. So he's bowl there now. Pretty isolated. Chris can afford to go jack or bowl here. He's just trying to draw the shot, threw it out a bit, margin down to one, putting right up. Trying to recall the scores in my head, early days. No, it was 8 3 to Chris. Stretched it out to, I believe it was around the 13 to 3 mark. Faye getting, Faye getting it back to about 13 8 ish. And Chris with a four gets it to 17. Faye went on a run. And been a bit back and forth since there. And here we are, 1918 in favour of Chris Keep. tight but the speed's good enough to be in the game. Touch further than she would have liked but there so it's probably just one to fade but without any movement of something I can't see either of those balls win in the end. The lady's drawing very well. Faye looks to be carrying a touch again. It's gonna need to hit Jack to get a result.
she would have had a touch. Probably, well, it's close. Just rolled on enough a shot, I think. They're both players, two bowls to play, plenty of room. Looks like a better bowl. Fate. Any jack is good. That's taken it back for three shots. Chris will probably have to flip over back in now. Pretty well carrying a touch. It's a fair effort. Just didn't stay up either. And no real risk here for fate. Certainly going to have enough to count. And it's in there, it doesn't really create a target either. Chris has drawn. Any closer than this today. Better speed on this bowl. This could be good. Chris Keeper is going to save a lot here. Possibly get shot. What a shot. Down four. Would have put Faye three shots from winning. Not many ends to go now. Big bowls like that. The ones that win your finals. identical length to the length we played this way last time. I hope my iPad doesn't fail me now. Keep very close to the first. Two feet through. That's a good first bowl. Big save for the last on the last end that the other three she could have been disappointed with. So be happy with that start. Faith had some pretty handy bowls on this length last end. Do enough. Just, just in favour of Chris there. It's 
Speed's pretty good here from Chris. Down a touch. Yeah, that's in the area. Good shot. And I'll say it's two to Chris. Got half a bowl to work with. Of course, neither of them land with the navy side pointing to the camera. Both of Chris's balls behind Jack. This ball here will be behind Jack. Just a bit of an overcorrection through the hole. Big shots here for Chris to try and pile on the pressure. He needs five to go out. at the same speed she threw it out a bit too so so we'll be holding two Cut out the back one. Definitely still one to Chris. Could be two. I'm a little excited that our camera's taking a break. Just carrying through there, backhand, right back. I just have to get the players to uh, play eastbound the rest of the game. They're falling short. So definitely going to be one to Chris. Can I say uh, back it to be two? We'll find out. Tape on this one. Get Pam out to measure this. Chris just struggling to struggle to get down. So. I'm just going to lend a hand. Here comes the uh, laser again. Both bowls laying down, so no need for chocks. On they go. You see the little white circle there. Pam puts the laser on the jack. It just needs to find the center of that circle. <laughs> Set all the measure, hit the button, gets a reading. So you can list, I don't know how many bowls, probably up to five or six, because the first one measured will be on the reader, and then she'll hit the button. Lower, it's one shot to Chris, it's higher, it's two shots to Chris. 
and pointing to phase bowl. So is the one to Chris. Puts himself within one good end of a singles title. Under fives, seniors, veterans, without a doubt opens. Any singles title's hard to win. Right. Similar length, but in this direction. Really played this length in this direction. Jack seems to be shooting, shooting through a bit more, shooting through a bit more. Fairly well down though from Chris. A couple of feet through. a bit on that side. Okay, he's thrown this one out. Sometimes it's decent speed. It's going to be in the area. It is. Come back a bit. So a little bit of a shot. This one's got the muscle. Not quite. It's a phase bowl right of screen, just just past Jack. Okay, backing yourself to draw under that last bowl of Chris's. Speed's good enough to count just slides through and probably does Chris turning over forehand now Touch. Right through, still two to Faye. So it seems as though both ladies have a preference of direction. Again, I could be wrong. There have been plenty of times before, but it just seems like Faye's winning in this direction and Chris is winning in the other direction. Well, maybe not winning, but just uh, a little bit closer with their bowls. It's a better effort here from Chris, but it's probably still rolling through. So, Faye looks to be holding two with the last bowl of the end. Staying on the back end. Could be wrong, could be one. 
sure if I want to check it. Oh, that's close. I'm certain of one. Let's see if it's two. Checking this too. <coughs> One shot in it once again. Camera this direction, don't fail me now. Matt right back. Quite all the way back. Still a yard up. Too bad of a start here. I'm sure she's up. Decent line. The yard through. That goes without saying, but. Always want to give you bowl a chance, but now's not the time to be short. Yeah. Fair here from Chris too. Should get right down to it. Good shot. That's brought Faze into play a lot more, but she's still be holding one. anything yet. Phillies bowl just on the way down. Running through a bit. Should be right at the bottom of your screen. Maybe this camera decides to get it together. Dixie. Use this angle until our camera gets back together. So you can see the bolt closest to Jack on your screen. Six inches away from the jackets, Chris keeps bowl. Bowl just right of that. His face. This one here's a bit of speed under the line. Bowl far left is uh, Chris keeps. So both players, one bowl nearby.
This is bowl coming down now forehand. In a pretty good area for two. Should get down to phase bowl. Not quite. It's a fair effort. Still the one to Chris Keep. So the angle that Faye's got there is that it's almost got to be a perfect shot to draw around that short bowl of Chris's. Pretty close. Gee, that's a good effort. All right, so Chris with the last bowl at the end holding shot. And then happy to take it. I don't believe it just as the other camera comes on board. We're going to have a look at that. You can see there that short bowl just playing in phase eye line. Great shot from Chris. Trail Jack. Right, so 22-20. Not long to go now. Same length for Chris. Should just be enough. Speed here with the first. That's what you want when you're three shots away. Pretty good foot behind Jack. Track from Faye, Cars pulls up. Touch over a yard. Chris can really pile the pressure on here. Not sure if it's got enough to get to second shot. Quite. So there's still room there for Faye to draw around that. Well over a yard out. To back this off all day on the back end. Certainly around the short ones, but he's carrying a touch of speed. Yep, nailed the line, just carried two yards. All the 
the social games finished now. Everyone piling around. All the seats are taken on the side of the green. Chris, that one just rolls through, so didn't uh, apply more pressure. Still does have a very good one. Side. Just a bit too attacking. I guess only being one down afforded to that, but uh, <coughs> definitely enough room there to try and draw a better second or even draw a shot. Didn't get that one out all that clean, but it might, might just get up for a second. No, it hasn't. So I'll probably keep on the forehand. Does she play attacking again? Thinking I can roll mine up or sit shot bowl. Jack down the line. Probably going to be good. It's one of Chris's bowls there. It's a better effort. Jack. Oh, Chris's bowl catches it. Oh, that changes the measure too. Still back face. Short bowl just left of centre line to be second. result that was. Trying to get this focus up. But without a doubt one to Chris. Yeah, take that one out it definitely looks like play short bowl his second shot. Chris. We really hope for everyone's sake we don't have to use the alternate camera. Could be the last end. Can say that for every end from here on. Not sure if the zoom's relevant, but we'll leave the zoom alone. The other angle on standby. And 23.20. Speed again from Chris in his forehand. Some more length. Decent track. Speeds in the area to yeah, great bowl. Great bowl. Just got across the line, so we're still able to play this forehand. Yeah, she's away pretty well here. Fair effort. Very close. 
I'm not sure. It may have just fallen out. No, I've touched it. Hopefully Monica can give us an idea. Again. Oh, what a touch of speed that is. I'm not sure who's actually holding. Which one's the shark? <laughs> Just favour Chris's, so Chris's is the one short of Jack on the centre line. Face Jack high. Left of Jack there. The other two bowls on the ring. Faye left side, Jack high. Chris right side just passed. Tough for Chris to get a second. She was disappointed in this one. Really, probably wanted that up past the head. I'm guessing she had the line she wanted just to clear safely, but. Faye probably just searching for a touch on Chris's bowl. Has the speed for it. Jesus, it's close again. Oh, she's put it in a position where now she can push Chris's ball onto the touch more. So, so Chris is still pretty happy with this one. Get this one past. That's what she was planning, but certainly in the way. Which one's third, Monica? Third. Faye just asking for the third shot, just in case she was to remove her own. Not sure, go and have a look. Markers are always obviously neutral and trying to do whatever they can to help, but singles, your game, your balls. So, you figure out what shot you want to play. to settle. So a big shot here to the Chris keep one shot away. Or can Faye change it? I'm not sure if that's down enough. Uh, just missing a couple of bowls high. So Based on that, the fact that Faye had a look, I'd say that uh, Monica's call of Chris Keep holding one is correct, but we'll see if we need a uh, umpire anyway. So that will be the one to Chris. So 24-20, again back and forth. Chris getting that gap again. Oh, 
problem for Faye is she's running out of shots to track her down. So. position now where we're going to see somebody who's played very, very well and deserves to win. Somebody who's got to mount one more comeback in this final. Um, if that was the case, would definitely deserve to win also. But regardless of the result, in a very entertaining game, I'm sure you agree. Nice and positive with the first buffer on the scoreboard. Make sure you've got one up. All isn't lost here for fate. Just needs to apply some pressure early. Considering the scoreline, it's uh, one or a two here really makes this next end if it comes about. Very interesting. That's a fair start. A bit of an overcorrect here from Chris. Well short. She definitely has the ability to make sure after uh, maybe she's missed a few that um, she makes certain of that last shot. She's done that a couple of times and done it very well. This is good from Faye. Just falling in a touch behind it. So I cannot imagine Chris is short with this. I don't want to be necessarily charging at it. Although it's a four shot lead. Don't take your balls out of the game. in the game, she's going to hit, stay fast, edge and through. Probably still two to Faye. Can't imagine she isn't backing herself again down the back end. as well as the last few. Could protect the jack here. It's not, a, not the best bowl in the world, but Chris with the last bowl of the end makes a change over to the forehand. I love those bad bowls that making a difference. That's of course your uh, the opposition. Will it hang around? No, not quite. Gotta believe it's two to fate. Yeah, with her bowl there. Draw line, I can't see her getting to the jack, so pretty safe here, play confident. Better speed than the last. This is going to be right in the area. Doesn't want to touch though. What a shot. And we've got our last end coming up.
Tui. Only option for two more ends is Faye gets a one. So that definitely looks a three. Again from Faye, but that does mean Chris has last bowl. Always an advantage. Mentioned it a few times, Chris has played some big last bowls. So really important here for Faye to try and apply pressure early. Decides to have a significant change of strategy. Let's just put that up another yard. Let's see if it's a similar length or if we end up with a bit of a last end. Probably a dice long. It does look it. Touch longer. It's swirling breeze now. It's going to be hitting the bowls right in the face. Start from Faye. Didn't nail the line, but to the game, some of the heads have been excellent, and they've been somewhere that pole may win an end. Certainly not terrible conditions, but just a little bit tricky. Is missing as well. This might land in phase line for that back end. You know, changing to the forehand doesn't really this point of the game. Bring that ball of is anywhere near the game. This has the muscle to get second. Well, not quite. So, we're staying in the back end. Just short of Jack on the left of screen is shot. Really close for those next two up the green. He's definitely up with this one. Could eat Jack. Not quite. But probably sticks around. Not quite. That depth perception on the cameras 
exaggerating it a bit. Probably fourth. Uh, big bowl here from Chris. She can draw a shot, puts pressure on phase last. Don't think that's going to get back. Alright, so both bowlers. One bowl to play on this end. A bit of pressure. Not their best end of the game, by no means. I just want to have a look, probably. Just collecting your thoughts. So not a huge amount to uh, to look at. Let's draw a shot. I'll just find out who's second. Take your time. Uh, no doubt. has the opportunity with last ball. Right, phase away on the forehand. With decent speed. He's going to roll through a touch, but should get second shot. <coughs> and will. So, FaZe potentially holding game here. Definitely enough room for Chris. This is the way the speed's pretty good. Well, I'm not sure if it's got the legs. So, does it get in for a second shot? It looks closer on camera, but... Definitely feel like phase by left of screen is shot. I'm not sure. We'll wait to find out. Do we get one more in or is this it? Two to fight. What a fantastic game of bowls. Huge congrats to Chris Keep. Played outstanding tournament. Outstanding club championship. Make it all the way to the final and she didn't uh, didn't disappoint today. Congrats to Faye. Winning the singles title as I mentioned before. No easy feat. Plenty of quality players in this field. So, Faye Ibbotson is the women's veteran singles champion. For Angadine. Monica Dimmick there just signing the card. Thank you to Monica for marking. It's an excellent job as always. Pam Hoggings, thank you for your time as the umpire today. Pleasure bringing you all the pictures. As I've mentioned before, this will go up on our YouTube page, the Cougars YouTube page, along with uh, all the content we're going to try and bring you a lot more regularly. So check out that page. There's a few videos on there now, but certainly going to look at building a catalogue of Cougars on the green. So thanks for joining us. We'll see you soon again at Engadine Bowling Club.